the what will the second half bring uh, compared to the first half i think the market is pretty disappointed um with uh, how the first half panned out especially with regard to china uh, broadly asia uh, but also when it comes to demand mandy uh, i think uh, the us economic outlook as a proxy for um, oil demand in the coming months is uh, quite uh, center stage for the oil markets but do you think that the market is pro- uh, pricing in an appropriate amount of geopolitical risk premium at the moment considering what's happening in the middle east i think in your question uh, appropriate is the key word there uh, mandy i don't think the market is pricing in any geopolitical risk premium you know minimal uh, at the most i would say and the reason for that is uh, you know the so called uh, mid east conflagration and all out war which was the worst case scenario uh, that uh, markets confronted after the october last year attacks has been almost completely discounted and i would say the events of april um, you know when uh, iran and israel uh, launched direct military attacks against each other they were designed as a show of force uh with minimal damage you know deliberately to cause minimal damage and no damage in fact no casualties so uh that has become now the base case for the market there would be a lot of rhetoric a lot of saber rattling and of course strikes a uh, uh, you know rocket and drone strikes as we've seen over the weekend between uh, the hezbollah in lebanon and israel but really uh, again designed as a show of force with with no damage so then the market then you know deduces from that that is there really a threat of a wider mid east war and in turn is there a threat um to mid east oil supplies and the answer is really no